Hmm. It's really tough, man. I don't know which one I'm going with as far as the best Jordan 1 of the year. It's tough, man. Palominos or the Air Jordan 1 UNC Toes. We got to talk about it in today's video, man. What's going on, YouTube, man? Thanks for tapping into another video. You guys know I had to drop this video. We've been, you know what I'm saying, going around this topic a little bit, but we never went full on with a video to get the whole Vintage Squad's opinion on what the best Jordan 1 of the year is. Not kind of, I ain't going to say it's biased, but it's a lot of hype, like I said, behind the Palomino's and came my check and the UNC toes. And I think it's time to get you guys' opinion. Like I said, which one you guys rocking out with more, man? But if you guys are new to the channel, right now what I need you to do, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell for your boy. And please give it a huge like on today's video. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, we want to stir the pot up a little bit. So let's get something to 500 likes. It's going to show YouTube you guys are enjoying this conversation, this topic. It's going to bring more people to the channel to come rock out and see which one y'all choosing, Palomino's, or the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. You guys already know, man, all my social media links will be down below along with all my, you know, collabs right now. Uh, the best one that's been going crazy is Outring Brand. I know you guys see the T right here. I got my mic all pinned up all weird, but go check out Outring Brand. They have a lot of dope, you know, collections right now. Uh, the Air Jordan 4 Frozen Moments collection sold out fast. Like, they just dropped this weekend. It's already sold out, but they have some more stuff available on their site right now. So make sure you guys use that code DAVENTURE to save you 10% off your entire order. Like I said, that will be linked down below. So you guys can go tap in with it. All right, man. So here we have them, the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. And I kind of want to touch base on this one first, just because we kind of, you know, we already got this release. Like, the Follow Meals ain't came out yet, but we definitely got the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. I already dropped that four view on feet and everything. And I told y'all, uh, I wasn't really feeling these before I got them and I got them in hand. I said, yo, forget all that. I have too many UNC colorway type stuff I was talking. These joints is gas right here. And I think that kind of showed uh, when they did drop. They sold out instantly. Everybody ended up, you know what I'm saying, having to regret not copping when they did. Cause you know, people was trashing them at first. Now I know where things sold out. People starting to pay resale. But the resale isn't too crazy. I only throw it out there just because sometimes you get them Jordan Wars, you get them Jordan releases and they just sleep out of nowhere and they sell out. Like they just creep up and sell out. And the next thing you know, you gotta hit up StockX or Goat wherever you do purchase your sneakers. When we get into talks about the Asian One UNC toe since last year, like I said, it was mixed emotions, but I definitely feel like when we talked about these prior to the drop, a lot of people were saying that they wasn't feeling them, even myself. So you guys have too many UNC colorway sneakers in the collection. Uh, but like I said, in hand, these joints is gas, man. Uh, so you guys let me know how many pairs did you end up snagging. I know I doubled up on these joints. I got two pairs. That's how much I did actually like these things. I know I'm going to be wearing these a lot, uh, especially uh, this upcoming fall season, especially, you know, say next year in the spring, summertime. Get that nice, vibrant baby blue fire sneaker. Loving the color blocking they doing with these right here. Same as the taxi, if I'm not mistaken, and the lucky green Jordan 1s, man. So here you have it. Jordan 1 UNC toes. Who's picking these joints as far as the best Jordan 1 of the year? Or my far fetch is, is another Jordan 1 that I'm forgetting about? Me? I don't think so. Like, so I said, I kind of think it's a little bit more biased, but from everybody on the channel, you know, we've been talking about the UNC toes and the Palominos, which you about to grab right now. <laughs> yes, sir, man. And here we have them. I know y'all probably tired of me not even lacing them up yet. They're going to be laced up this upcoming week. I promise y'all. Y'all going to get that full review and on feet. The drop is about to happen within a couple of weeks. And I am hearing about these being more limited than we initially thought. You know, a lot of people said that these are going to be flooded. They're going to be everywhere. But after, you know, saying being in a couple of different discords and a lot of people saying these might be one of the ones that want to be more limited than what we actually thought. Like it's not going to be crazy amount of pairs that the UNC toes to be more of a limited drop. Uh, and I think it's going to be tailored around like the, the Mocha One release. You guys remember the Mocha One release? Crazy, crazy release. Everybody was mad. Everybody was taking L's left and right. As you guys can see, I do not have a pair of mochas in the collection. So uh, that's why I had to resort to these Palomino things. Super nice. I love them. You got some nice suede on the back. You guys see it, bro. Just a nice, nice mocha around them things. And then to top it all off, man, you got the nice 
gold Nike Air on the tongue, giving it a little different, you know, color contrast on the sneaker. Only thing, like I said, I have been knocking is they didn't give us any extra laces with these, which is kind of crazy, you feel me? I don't know why they didn't do that to give us extra laces with the UNC toes, but not with the Palomino things. But uh, man, it, it's really tough. I know it's gonna be crazy down below in the comment section on which one people are taking as far as the best of the year. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna bring up the Travis Scott. So we all know about Travis Scott. I'm not that big of a, uh, a fan of the Travis Scott sneakers anymore. I feel like they made too many colorways of them. The hype is just, the hype is there. Like we're gonna lay that to the side. Uh, they are a cool sneaker, but I don't think that they're better than the Palominos or UNC Toe as far as the general public, if that makes sense. I hope I'm putting that down the right way. Hope I'm not miswording what I'm trying to put out as far as, you know, Travis Scott and you know more general releases like the UNC toes and the palomino so it's gonna be a general release but they're gonna be a lot more limited than what we initially thought like i told you guys a lot of different discords i'm gonna give you guys more information about you know saying what they're gonna do with these we didn't get a shock drop on these we didn't get an exclusive access on these yet i don't know what they're gonna do this thing was so hard to get early now pairs are starting to float around we're gonna see how true and how accurate those limited talks about these palominos you know what I'm saying being true or false we shall see so yeah man so after checking out both of these things man having both of them in hand for some months now it's time to make that final decision i'm gonna wait to see you guys comments uh, you know what I'm saying go ahead and type them down below uh the air jordan one unc toes the best jordan one or is it the Air Jordan 1 Palominos? And I'm gonna give you guys my decision. I kind of been sticking strong to it, even having them both in hand. I said I had a way to get both in hand. And me, I'm still going with the Air Jordan 1 Palominos, bro. I can't steer away from it, bro. These things is cold. I'm loving them, bro. I don't think it's gonna be any other Jordan 1 that tops it for me as far as Jordan 1's this year, but it is another Jordan 1 coming out that I kind of mentioned the other day. Uh, but the Palominos, bro, I think they're in a class of their own. Uh, I think it's gonna be one of them, like I said, mocha releases where every other Jordan 1 that dropped that year nobody cared about. But when the Palominos drop, bro, oh my God, I'm telling you, that's gonna be crazy. People gonna be talking about them like a mug. And uh, like I said, hopefully they're not as limited as what I've been hearing. Hopefully they are easily accessible for the general public because I'm all here for the retail dubs, man. I would like to give two honorable mentions. Definitely want to throw in the Jordan 1 Black and White High 85s and these Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Somebody even said this in yesterday's video. We talked about the best low of the year. I said, this is it. Uh, I still think this is it, honestly. I've been beating these things up, wearing them like crazy. But just a nice little honorable mention. Don't forget about these black toe things, man. I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you guys for tapping in. Can't wait to read all you guys' comments. Go ahead and go crazy down below. UNC Toe Palominos, Black and White High 85s. What's your favorite Jordan 1 to drop this year? Am I missing off the list? I can't wait to see y'all comments, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the notification bell for your boys so you don't miss out on any content like this that we drop on the channel. And please give a huge like on your way out of today's video. Again, I appreciate all the support. Thanks for tapping in. And with all this being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.